Hello guys, I'm Herman. In today's video, I'm going to show you a project that I just built. This is a greenhouse. A greenhouse for a guy who actually wanted to see how that thing works. So he paid me to make a prototype to show him how a greenhouse can well, how he can make a greenhouse for himself. So in this video today, I'm going to present to you what I made. It's a small greenhouse which I made in a box, in a plastic box. And within this plastic box, there is another box within that is used to carry the ground on which the crops are going to be planted. So let's go down into some details. So you see that on this um, greenhouse, we have a controller. We have a set of relays, three relays to perform the trick in order to maintain the temperature within the greenhouse itself. On the other side, as you can see right here, we have a fan on this side, which takes air from within the greenhouse to outside. So if there's heat inside the greenhouse, it sucks it out. And then there's another fan on the other side that is used to take air from outside to inside. And then on this side here, we're going to see we have a power supply and the powers, the controller and the fence. As you can see right here, we have a pump that is used to that is used to pump water on the crop whenever the crop is not moisturized. So there's a moisture sensor in the farm, you know. So whenever the farm the, the, the soil is dry, the pump automatically pumps water inside. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the controller. So as you can see right as you can see right here, on this controller we have an LCD that is used to display all the parameters of what is happening within the greenhouse and everything going on. For the controller used on this um, greenhouse, to control this greenhouse, we use the STM32 microcontroller board, which is the blue pill. And then we have a Bluetooth module. This Bluetooth module here is used to set to change all the parameters like the set point for the heat and to turn off or on each of these relays that we have on this controller. And then we have a power supply for the controller itself. Yeah. The fan used on this project are all um, PID controlled, which means that they um, maintain the temperature to a certain set point in a very fine manner. So the greenhouse, uh, the, the fans of this thing work in combination with the light bulb, with the light bulb that is inside the greenhouse to keep the temperature inside the greenhouse at a certain set point, which we set on this through this Bluetooth module and that parameter is always displayed on the LCD. So um, what we use to interface the LD fans to the controller are these two transistors that you have here. Okay, right here you have the set of a set of three relays. The first relay here is used to control the pump. So it turns the pump on whenever there is no water, whenever there is lack of water on the soil. This other relay here is used to power on a LED strip which we have not yet connected inside the greenhouse. And then this other relay right up here is used to power on the bulb that is inside the greenhouse. Okay, right now let me show you into the greenhouse. In this greenhouse right here we have a 75 watt light bulb which is due to generate heat within the greenhouse whenever places are too cold for the crop so let me show you how the bulb is mounted so this is the bulb that we have inside this greenhouse it's an incandescent light bulb which is used to generate heat inside the greenhouse okay in this greenhouse right here in this greenhouse right here you would see that we have a moisture sensor this moisture sensor is going to be, to, be, to be stopped on the ground. And then we have the point from, from where water pumps in on the ground. Right here, you see this sensor. This is the, the DHT22 temperature slash humidity sensor. This is used to sense the temperature from inside the greenhouse and then automatically control the fans, whether they should speed up in order to bring air or we should slow down and also turn on the light bulb 
let's power this let's close everything down and then power this one so that you can see how it works as you can see right there there's water being pumped inside the greenhouse this is because the moisture sensor hasn't sensed water from within the greenhouse so right here you see that the pump the led for this really already automatically pumped on and then pumps water from within water has been pumping and then you can see right there it stopped because the sensor already saw water from within right here you see the bluetooth blinking indicating that it's ready to receive signals and then this is the green the moisture sensor controller which is just a comparator module and you can feel the noise from the from the fans already pumping air from inside the greenhouse right there okay right now we have our cell phone here which we're going to connect to this greenhouse and change parameters inside the greenhouse so we are going to make the temperature to be up to um to go up to 26 degrees so that we're going to maintain everything around so right here you have we have our phone we go into a software that i uh, always use the bluetooth terminal module so we click on it and then we connect to the bluetooth device so you see the Bluetooth connected and right here we are receiving feedback from the greenhouse the temperature the humidity and the set point all of them are being displayed on the display that we have here let me increase the, let me increase the brightness so right now we are going to change the set point for this let's say that we want it to be 26 we just type in 26 and then we send so you will see on the display here that it has been changed to 26 and then the fans are automatically turned on and then the bulb came on to generate heat within the greenhouse as you can see right here, right there, that's what's happening. Immediately the temperature in the, within the greenhouse gets to the point where we want it to be. The fans, the light bulb is going to go off and then they will now start working. Then the bulb and the fans will start working together to maintain the temperature um, at the set point that we just set. Right here the temperature is on 25 degrees. 25 degrees on the screen and the humidity is 79. And then right here you'll find the moisture sensor uh, percentage level and then we have the duty cycle that controls the speed of the fan so let's wait a little bit and see when the temperature gets to the point where it's supposed to go and then we, we observe the reaction of the devices and you will always see that at every point in time we receive real-time feedback of all the parameters being within the greenhouse so the temperature the temperature of the greenhouse automatically got to 26 degrees and it automatically matched with the set point so the light bulb which is meant to generate the heat automatically went off now you see now it when it changes it keeps fluctuating in order to keep the temperature where it is supposed to be Okay, now let's change the set point to 25 degrees and then you see the reaction of the fan. Immediately we bring it down to 25 degrees, the fan is going to start blowing fast in order to bring down the temperature. Let's go. We send it. It changed here. And then the fan, the fan slowly comes up. See the duty cycle slowly increases. And now you can get the fan. So now the temperature has already dropped down to 25 degrees. So it's fluctuating between 25 and 26. So now we have our temperature at 25 degrees. The duty cycle will start dropping slowly. So as you can see right there, that temperature is never going to go um, above or below 25 degrees as far as the set point is at 25 degrees so it always makes sure that the temperature is calibrated to the set point that we just set from our cell phone okay let's go now to the other aspect of the project which is the moisture sensor demonstration okay so let me show you how the moisture sensor works to do that let's open the thing you have 
we have the pipe that water passes through to get into the pump and we have our moisture sensor you see the moisture sensor right here we just remove the moisture sensor from the water and then, it, and then water started pumping directly into the greenhouse as you can see right there let's put back the moisture sensor in the water and then you see how it automatically stops you see it stops automatically we take it off we start pumping we put it back down it stops so this particular aspect of the project is always to make sure that the crop within the greenhouse is always receiving water when, when water is needed so it works very well let's go back and right there you will see that we have water within this red bucket in which the pump is installed so guys this is all we have for this project if you like this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time on the next one goodbye